Oh, it's wonderful in Austin. It's nothing but 70 degrees year round, sports <laughs> flip flops. I'm totally kidding about all of that. So <laughs> if you compare it to San Diego, it's almost San Diego weather year round. Okay. So like right now it's like 40 degrees outside, 42 degrees a day. Um, mm -hmm. But last week it was in the seventies. Next week it'll probably be back in the seventies. This is December. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we get massive cold fronts that come through. You get the same ones that hit yeah. you. Um, mm -hmm. But then it's, it's fairly moderate the entire year until you get to about, uh, you know, late April and then all of a sudden yep. it's 103 <laughs> and you're like, whoa, where did this come from? And or that last It feels like, you know how the weather people yeah. say, it feels <laughs> like 100 degrees outside, but it's really only 90. <laughs> yeah, it feels like death outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would say we've probably seen more severe weather than Austin, but I mean, that's all pretty relative. Um, we do see quite a few tornadoes uh, here in Dallas in the springtime, mainly more, more than likely it's not, it's going to either not affect you or it may affect your neighbor's house and skip you. I mean, these storms are just so isolated and unpredictable that you just don't know, you know, what could happen. But I will, I will say the last round of storms that went through Dallas um, that were really severe, um, those storms uh there were no fatalities which was in my opinion very awesome because we had you know we had you could see like on the map because afterwards they tell you if it's like an ef1 ef2 on the fajita scale and that kind of thing so they will let you know like this is where it was and then over here this is where it was but they're very like little pockets and isolated areas let's see but that's the the positive about living in austin is that you don't have to you know <laughs> we get we get the occasional like woo, check it out there might be a uh, there could be possibly watch out for a, for a tornado <laughs> but then it's like oh no it's dallas that got the tornado so um you know i don't want to lead anybody in the wrong direction we do get the occasional warning but it you know we're not dallas which is always a thumbs up <laughs> i think it's so, because we're so close to oklahoma and we are in that tornado alley and people yeah. that's probably one of the the bigger questions that i get a lot of people asking about when they move to dallas because they're like i'm afraid of this whole tornado thing and i'm like look if you you know you, there are weather alerts that you can get on your phone if you're driving um and if and I, I mean, literally, I was driving down the road one time and it said tornado warning in your area. Do you have area. to get tornado insurance? So our homeowner's insurance will cover um, okay. cover everything. Your, if your car is damaged or your home is damaged, it will cover for any, you know, a new has, house. Has anybody ever had any cows like land into their yard from a passing tornado? Is that a thing? Nothing Does that really, happen? Nothing really Has bizarre. anybody had one of those Dorothy from Twister land in their yard because that'd be pretty cool. So I think the weirdest one that I story that I've heard is they'll they there was a tornado that picked up some of these you know like you know the ones that they put on the trains uh, they're like these big you can you can make like a container train cars yeah the train yeah. cars they pick yeah. some of those up and they move them like across the street kind of thing in or Dallas like, yeah oh I'm never moving there forget that <laughs> <laughs> so here. That was uh, one area, one isolated event. Dallas is large, people. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed this clip from my show that I do every Thursday, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. And for the full episode, please consider watching it right here. And for something totally amazing, you want to click this one right over here. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.